All right, so in this video, we want to talk about something called eigenvectors and eigenvalues. Now, the best way to do it is to start with a three by three matrix, and then we're going to we're going to write in an eigenvector. We're going to write in an eigenvalue. Now, I'm going to show you how to find them in a future video, but this is really just about what are they? What what do they do? All right, so I've got this um, matrix here, and I'm going to multiply it by a three by one. Uh, matrix. So I'm going to use the matrix uh, 1, 1, 0. So when I take that matrix and multiply it by 1, 1, 0, I'm going to get, uh, I've already done this, don't worry, I'm not doing that in my head, 3, 3, 0. Now that's interesting. If I had done any other one, I would have got some weird answer, but you can see 1, 1, 0 and 3, 3, 0 are related. Now, 1, 1, 0, 3, 3, 0, we can rewrite that as 3 times 1, 1, 0. All right, so this, this vector here, because remember, this is another way to write a vector, x, y, z. This vector here is what's called an eigenvector. And this value here is what's called an eigenvalue. All right, so eigenvector, eigenvalue. Let's uh, come up with a, a sort of more formal thing here. So an eigenvector and an eigenvalue can be defined such that a vector, a vector, let's call this vector A, times, uh, now we'll call this V for eigenvector, so a, v, is equal to lambda, lambda, l-a-m-b-d-a, uh, times the eigenvector. So rewriting, so matching everything up. This was our a right here. This is our eigenvector. So a matrix times a special thing called the eigenvector is equal to the eigenvalue times the eigenvector. All right. That's really all we need to know. You need to think about this a little bit. Now, you can try it out, but if I put some random some random vector in there, just like a 2, 3, 5, that wouldn't have resulted in this nice, neat little scalar out the front, same thing here. This is only working because I specifically chose the eigenvector. Now, in future videos, you'll learn how to look at a matrix and find the eigenvector, or look at a matrix and find the eigenvalue that results from multiplying by the eigenvector. But for now, we just need to know this neat little relationship here. A times the eigenvector is equal to lambda times the eigenvector.